Hello, this is Daniel from EndHairLoss.eu, and in this special video I will answer a very hot question. Does excessive sex or masturbation cause hair loss? This is one of the most asked questions that we get in our customer service, so I will try my best to answer it in the most complete and exhaustive way, according to my knowledge of the EndHairLoss.eu full program. According to different studies, at the moment of ejaculation, a higher quantity of testosterone gets converted into DHT, a hormone which is rather aggressive for the hair follicles. This hormone is known to attack and reduce the size of hair follicles and is considered by science as one of the main causes of thinning hair. Consequently, some people attribute their hair loss to the practice of masturbation and having sex with another person. Is this a real, legitimate, and scientific cause of hair loss? Is it safe to keep giving yourself and your partner pleasure without running the risk of ruining the health of your hair follicles? Well, you are about to find out. First of all, there is a big difference between sex and masturbation, and the way our body reacts in these two different situations. Sex is way more intimate and can involve love, communication, and the joy of giving pleasure to your partner, while masturbation is an act of self-love where normally you are alone with yourself. As I said, our body reacts very differently in these two situations, and according to some trusted researchers, it seems that masturbation doesn't have the same health benefits that sex does. It appears that not all orgasms are created equally, says Tobias S. Kohler, MD, MPH, FACS, an associate professor at Southern Illinois University School of Medicine in Springfield. Different studies show that intercourse has all sorts of benefits for men, for your blood pressure, heart and prostate health, and blood circulation. It has also been observed that it has the ability to relieve pain and improve your sleep. You'd think that masturbation would too, but according to the professor, the makeup of the semen is different if you masturbate instead of having sex because of the different situation involved. Why would it make a difference whether you ejaculate during sex or alone? Well, your body seems to respond in a different way. So it looks like that regular sex is good for your life, your health, and your relationship. And if you are losing your hair, your sex life does not have to suffer. Masturbation is not as safe as sex when it comes to the health of your hair follicles. Still, it is not the cause of hair loss either. But let's come to the scientific facts, not the hype, the urban myths, and the misinformation. Studies show that when you ejaculate during masturbation, a higher percentage of testosterone is converted into DHT, and a higher level of testosterone is produced in your prostate and testicles. This is true, and different scientific studies have confirmed it. In one of these studies, published by the U.S. National Library of Medicine, National Institutes of Health, the levels of DHT have been measured before and after masturbation. And after masturbation, the levels of this hormone were actually increased. You will find the link for this study in the description section below the video. But, the fact is that most guys masturbate. They masturbate if they're single, in a bad relationship, or in a great relationship. It's just something they do that has nothing to do with their partners. For many, it's a routine way of relieving stress or going to sleep. So while it's true that DHT levels in your body increase after masturbation, it is also true that your body will still produce this hormone whether you masturbate or not. Because of this, even though I am not endorsing masturbation, I can safely tell you that significantly increased levels of DHT and enlarged prostate only happen in cases of excessive masturbation. And by excessive masturbation, I mean two or more times a day, seven days a week. Excessive masturbation can also cause poor concentration, deteriorated eyesight, mood swings, sleeping disorder, anxiety, stress, and depression. And yes, in that case, I can safely say that it can increase dramatically the DHT levels in your body, 
and you should keep it under control. Even if you masturbate just once a day, two to four times a week, then you should be out of the danger zone. Personally, I would try to reduce masturbation to the lowest level possible, but it is important to know that with that rate, you should be fine. Another important point for you to remember is to replenish your nutrient levels according to the frequency of your masturbation and intercourses. In fact, a few minerals such as zinc, selenium, and copper are lost in significant amount during each ejaculation and you should replenish them either through an appropriate diet, rich in these minerals, or through supplementation. You can also check out our video called Top 5 Foods to Prevent Hair Loss to have more info regarding the foods containing these minerals and other vitamins important to your hair health. The link has just appeared in the bottom right of this video. Well, that's all. Please leave a comment below and let me know your opinion and experience on this matter. But be serious, no offensive or obscene comments. For more videos on how to take care of your hair, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you!